Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my review of the Vaughn 7600 Block V4 blocker. It's pretty similar to the new V5 and V6 blockers. The big difference is the sideboard is now reworked and more square and not rounded as here, and it's flatter. Um, one of the V6s doesn't have a binding anymore, but one of the versions does. The important parts, the finger protection, the actual like protection in here and how it's actually constructed are still very similar. So this review will still be relevant to the newer models. Onto the glove itself, I reviewed a Simmons 997 blocker about a year ago and it's a, basically a clone of this one. The difference between this glove and the Simmons one is out of this world. This Bond blocker is my favorite or close second favorite to my Reebok Larceny, which I'll show you later, and I've already done a review on. Everything about this glove is fantastic. The weight, the balance, the comfort, the protection, the quality, everything about it is top notch. I came into this review expecting not to like Vaughn things. I just grew up a CCM guy and Heaton guy, and because Simmons was so close, I never understood why people would buy the Vaughn equipment over Simmons. I now know why, and I now know why the prices are different. This glove is fantastic. The, the balance on it is by far the best I've ever worn. I would say even better than my uh, Larceny blocker. Every, playing the puck with it, doing everything with it, it feels like an extension of your hand. It might be that the hand placement is a little, little lower than what I'm used to, and I thought that might be a little weird as I figured I'd like the blocker face to be lower on my palm to cover like below the stick and not closer to my shoulder, my arms and for double coverage. But everything about it was absolutely phenomenal and great. The finger protection is one of the best I've ever worn. As you can see, I have gotten hit under there a couple times. As you can see with these puck marks. And I actually did get dinged with a very hard shot on the finger right here. And you can actually see puck mark in person, I hope it shows up on camera, and sometimes you can't get the face on the blocker on the puck and it squeaks under like it did there. Now I knew it hit me there because it hit you in the fingers, but which would have really hurt on the Simmons and some other blockers I've used, it didn't hurt me at all for this one. I actually looked at it, I have a video of it too, I looked at the glove and was looking at the protection wondering, holy crap where that hit, and just kept playing, had no issues whatsoever. The other great part about this glove for protection is the sideboard. While it's not as bulky as my Larceny is, there is a pillow pad in here, which has been extremely great, and it is pretty flat. Now, as you can see, there are puck marks on the side, as when I play, I tend to play like this quite often, just the way I play in my stance, and I do get a lot of pucks off here. Had no issues with this whatsoever, and like I said, it would pretty much replace my larceny if it wasn't for me selling this the match and catching love to this. Now onto the finger protect more for the finger protection. The wrap around here is a very hard plastic. Similar to my larceny but not the same. But while the top one is also a hard plastic. It's the thickest I've actually ever felt on a blocker before. It's thicker than the larceny and both ways are the same here. And one pretty awesome feature that Vaughn incorporated, if you look, this part actually comes up a bit. This little flap of protection, that way, when you wear it normally, it doesn't interfere with the index finger. The index finger just slides right under and you got no issues. Absolutely fantastic design. Now, the way this is segmented here, I'm not a huge fan of. I like how the larceny is done more. but. I had no issues whatsoever with this and it did a fantastic job and honestly it's one of the best it's one of the best finger protection layouts I've ever used. Now onto the palm. This one was standard Nash, extremely comfortable. I find this survives and lasts longer than the Larceny one will. And just like the Simmons actually had a very good palm as well. This one just felt a little higher quality, not but in reality there's no difference there. I'm sure these come in different models, or different materials, but this one was just straight up Nash. It's the way I got it from the store. 
On the inside, it has a very nice pillow gnash material on the top, which I absolutely love. The large thing I have also has it, but other gloves like the Simmons didn't, and that kind of bothered me. I had an old Smith glove too that didn't have this piece, and it just didn't feel right and snug in my hand. When you put it in with that piece, it really softens any puck that hits there, and just holds your hand in better. The adjustment straps on this isn't the best. There's only one strap right here, and I didn't actually have to do it tight because of the way this pillow is and the way the glove actually sits on your hand. It basically just sits in there and feels like an extension. It never feels like it's going to fall off and I'm not gripping on the inside. It's shaking and it, my wrist is holding it in because of that pillow strap. Everything about it is just fantastic. I really, really, really like that implementation and basically I wish every glove would have it no matter the top board construction or anything like that. Now, onto side finger protection. This is pretty interesting design and I find it works quite well. And you again have a very hard and solid index, uh, index finger protection here, like on the rest of your fingers. But on top of that, you have this nice piece right here. It's not as hard plastic, it almost has a little bit of spongy feel to it, but it gets, it fits, like sits right on top of the stick perfectly, and no pucks are able to get up here and hit my fingers. There is a little bit of marks right there, as you can see from where I did get hit, and had no issues whatsoever. The one weird thing I find about this glove is it actually does have the extra Gen Pro, Gen Pro reinforcement along the fingertips here for the high wear area. But Bond didn't include it on this piece of nylon where as you can see the discoloration, that's where my stick rubs against and pucks it. So I'm not sure why this doesn't have Gen Pro here. I didn't check if the newer models do, but I really wish that was something they added. Just because you have it here, why not just extend it right here? Wouldn't it be that difficult? Now, since I brought up the large thing so much in this review, I figured I'll bring it up just to show side-by-side -side comparisons. There are a few things I like better on Larceny, and there's some I like better on the Vaughn. For the sidewall, it's basically a toss-up, to be completely honest. Both of them are super protective, never feel pucks on them, and have no issues with how it's constructed. I'm not sure if this extra ridge that's supposed to catch pucks there from sliding in does anything. I don't know how I would really test that. I couldn't tell a difference, but it's there. I'm sure it does do something if they put it there every model. Now, as for the finger protection, I actually prefer the Vons method of this and just like the hard fingers compared to the Larceny's with just this floating piece on the fingers. I like the extra padding that the Vaughn has there and it just gives a little bit of extra security because with the Larceny now, it it can kind of ride up. I haven't had any puck squeak in here, but it's just, it's something I wish there was a little extra there, which the Vaughn has. As for the thumb, the Vaughn's thumb is more covered, as you can see, by extra layer padding. But again, I've had no issues on either of them, and I do like how the Vaughn's thigh board, or sideboard comes over on top of the thumb as well. Again, extra protection, fantastic design. I did mention how I like the fingers on the Larceny a little more. I just liked how this is all one piece instead of the segmented piece right here. And I just feel the coverage is slightly better on the Larceny, but in reality, they're both absolutely fantastic for that. Another place where I think the Vaughn does actually better is on the cuff. Right here, it while it's bulky and like, and big, you'd think it would stop pucks, but I feel it more as a hindrance compared to the Vaughn. I never have issues with this cuff going anywhere. While this, I have felt against my body sometimes and get in the way. I'm not sure if pucks gone in that way, but this one just feels more natural and like a more maneuverable glove. The one thing I do like on the Larceny better, and it's a really small nitpicky thing, is it has this little extra flap of harder foam here, and well, this evidently isn't for protection, as a manufacturer told me. The Vons is softer than the Larceny's, and the Larceny's just extends longer. So I, I have a feeling they added this piece just for a little bit of extra protection there. I mean, it's not attached to anything, it bends, but other manufacturers don't really have that. With that said, the Vaughn does have no place here for your hand to get hit. So there's no issues in that case. Palm, I like the Vaughn better, and actually playing with the pocket and stick handling and everything, I also do like the Vaughn better. Performance-wise, 
I would give the Vaughn a slight advantage. And again, the only reason I'm not keeping the Vaughn is because I have the matching catcher that I'm trying to move as a set to move on to in that, a new set of gear and chest protector. But as for it, the Vaughn is probably the best performing glove I've ever worn and almost my new favorite. I have a slight emotional attachment just to this Reebok because I've had it for so long, but in reality, this Vaughn is unbelievable and I would recommend everyone to go out and look for them. You can find the older versions cheaper in stores. I know Piranis has them for I think 200 bucks. For a pro level blocker like this is pretty good. You just won't get the colors you really want. So that pretty much wraps it up for this Vaughn glove. Um, in short, best performing and one of the most protective gloves I've ever worn. Comfort is fantastic, the balance is fantastic. It's not the lightest glove, I don't think, but it feels extremely light and mobile because of the way it sits on your hand and just the balance of the thing. The only issues I have, like I said, is little, would prefer this to be a slightly different design and the binding wear will eventually wear down as opposed to the binding this design. And just a little piece of Gem Pro would be fantastic here. But besides that, I for sure will be looking at Vaughn for my next blocker. So the Vaughn 7600, definitely recommend. One of the best blockers I've ever used. And I don't believe a blocker is a blocker. Watch my Simmons review compared to this one, which Simmons is kind of a clone. Worlds apart. Absolutely worlds apart. Check this one out.